Hello, this is your friend and brother, Prophet Emmanuel Efria Jenkins, and this is many of such messages I'll be bringing to you. You know, certain times in life, we come to a point that we will want to throw in the towel based on the situations we find ourselves in. And there are certain excuses that even one way or the other agree with us to throw in the towel to that dream, to that uh, target, to that aspiration we want to achieve in life. But today I come with a word from the Lord to you today that don't give up. I want us to take our Bible reading from Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And it says, And let us grow not weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Amen. Paul was trying to admonish the Galatians. One way or the other, I believe there was somebody in there that has been doing good consistently, and it looks like there was nothing that was there to show for what he has been doing, maybe in that marriage, maybe in that job. You have been in there for years. There is no promotion. You have been in that marriage for years. Children are not coming. It looks like nothing is moving. I come with the word to you today. Keep on keeping on with God because what he has said you will do, that is what he will do. For he knows the thoughts he has for you, a thought that is to bring you to an expected end. Don't give up on prayer. Don't give up on your commitment to God. Don't give up on your obedience to him. And he, the Lord, will exalt you and they lift up your homes for all the world to see. You shall be like a city set on a hill that the nations will celebrate. Your testimony will be celebrated. Now, in the midst of not giving up, there are certain things that one needs to take note of. And uh, one, I say, amidst the process of not giving up, when you decide not to give up what you are supposed to do, one, make use of every opportunity. Ephesians 5 verse 15 to 16, it says that be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise making most of every opportunity because the days are evil. One way or the other, in the process of waiting, opportunities comes up. We look out for it, opportunities to do good, opportunity to increase yourself. That boy, listen to me, maybe you've given up on the, that exam, that university, that university education you want to pursue, that master's degree you want to pursue, that job you want to pursue, that business dream venture you want to pursue, and one way or the other, you, you feel like, how is it going to be? I tell you the truth, the Lord is going to bring around you opportunities that you need to look out for. And when this opportunity set in, by prayer, commit your ways to God and take hold of the opportunities because out of that, the Lord will establish his purpose with you. I pray that the wisdom of God will locate you wherever you are, that in this time where as believers we are pressing on to ensure that the banner of Christ Jesus that is so far lost, we ensure that we live as on why we live as wise people, making use of every opportunity, every opportunity as a minister of God, even in evangelism and ministry. I want to speak to that minister that is giving up one way or the other because it looks like nothing is really happening ministerially. Can I admonish you? Can I speak to you that the Lord will settle you if the Lord did not? forget Daniel in the lion's den. He will not forget you. Your prayer will surely be answered. Secondly, which is my last point, march forward. Philippians 3.13, it said, Paul said, Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. I tell you, my brother, there is something ahead of you. Don't stay down there. Isaiah said, arise and shine for thy light has come. Don't stay down there, lift up yourself and march forward. And I tell you the truth, with God on your side, Power is on your side, victory is on your side, and it will establish you. In conclusion, I want to tell you that I'm agreeing with you, and I'm with you in prayer. The Lord will exalt our homes, and we will not give up, and generations will celebrate us thousands of years from now when families are mentioning names 
our names will be mentioned. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Have a blessed day. Amen.